But I think countries like India and all, they show one thing. And I think, I, I, it, this, the picture may be gloomy, but there is a lot of resilience and vitality in these groups who are doing, whether they are street vendors or other, others. But, and I find that my limited experience in Europe, I've been here for a few months as a professor visiting. And I think that, that with the meltdown and all, you have a lot of, uh, say, uh, employment right, uh, is going down. And we could see that in the case of, let's say, the southern European countries, but also in the developed countries like, I mean, the ones who are supposed to be the, the more developed, like uh, Germany and others, where parts of these places you have a large number of, I mean, people, I mean, youth unemployment is there. Now, the point is that, and I've seen myself, which is quite bad, uh, that people, let's say, in Frankfurt, waiting outside the station in these eating houses and then quietly they will go in and whatever leftover is there they will lick it off or you find a lot of beggars which I don't I didn't see earlier now the point is that that if some form of this type of self-employment with the I mean the the eastern or the or the, the countries of the south are showing that it is possible and if Europe wants to learn then they can try to regulate this type of self-employment and introduce it in their own place and also provide some training because they have the resources for that instead of allowing it to go on its own if some sort of a plan can be made that this is how the I mean the, the excess I mean the population which is unemployed one of the ways out could be these types of, of uh, activities which could be taken as acceptable, you know, there.